Hey, good morning, folks. It's Ani with Chica's Kitchen. And as you can see, I've got something on the stove. What is it? What is it? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's strawberries. I'm making the, um, the gel part of a strawberry filling that I'm going to use uh, mix in with some more strawberries, halves. These are quarters. So you can see these are sliced in quarters because this is going to be the gel part. And um, she's making its own juice already. All I did was cut them, quarter them, quarter some strawberries, and put about a cup of water in a pot. I put a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon of salt in there. And um, I'm going to add... Uh, here soon I put two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to add here real soon um, some cornstarch and I also added about a half a cup of sugar okay so that's going to sweeten up and get nice and soft and that way I can mix in the half strawberries or strawberry halves I should say in with it once it cools down, and that'll go into my pie. All right, and then I'm going to turn you around real quick. I got some reserve whole strawberries. That's going to be for the top part of the pie. I know I make a mess all everywhere I go. And um, once it's done, just for decorative purposes, after I put some uh, cream around the top of the pie, that's, that was my oven. I've got it set for 425. And I've got my water at the bottom of the oven and my little tray. And let me show you. Here is my dough that I made. And I, I rolled it out and, and put a, a brick of butter and rolled it out and put it in the fridge. And I just got it out. And I'm getting ready to roll it out. I've got two parts here. This is going to be the bottom and the top. And here's my 9 inch pie plate. And there's the butter. I'm going to butter that up with a little bit of it. Alright. And I'll bring you back. Uh, Hubster want to get me some more strawberries. I had a big container but that seems to be a pretty deep pie <laughs> plate. And uh, I was trying to find a smaller one. They just don't sell it unless it's tin. And I want glass. Well, anyway, I'm waiting for him to come back with my other box of strawberries. So I can go ahead and clean them and half them. And then throw them in all together once this is uh, juiced down a little bit more. And mix it in with this. And we'll have a nice, thick, old... Um, full body strawberry pie with some delicious gel all in there together, all gooey. It's going to be great. All right, anyway, stay tuned, and I'll bring you back as soon as Hubster gets back with the strawberries, and we'll continue with the process. Okay, in addition to the strawberries, my husband went and got me another big batch those are the ones that I'm going to use for the topping of the pie. Probably a few more of these. I'm going to half these up after I rinse them out. Let's go ahead and get them. Oh! Clean. I know I've got to put my dishes away. <laughs> this was from yesterday. I still haven't done it. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get this. Be rinsed out with some nice cool water. I'll let that drizzle over it for a minute and let those get rinsed out. And what I'm going to add to my glaze, I haven't put the uh, three tablespoons of cornstarch yet but I will I'm not going to add it directly to that what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to zest this, and I'm going to get about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice in that bowl. I may need two lemons for it. We'll see, or I'll just zest and juice this one and add... I'll just go ahead and zest that one and juice it and add some concentrated lemon juice to it. And then um, it'll be um, half a cup of lemon juice with lemon zest and I'll do a half a cup of water. And I'll put that in the bowl. Give me just a second. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Let me lower this TV. I got and the deal I made with him was, listen, I said, I know I should follow you, but I don't want to, so here's the deal. I will accept you when I'm on my deathbed. I'm driving in this Pinto at night, and I'm heading to a train track. It's dark, it was just after a snowstorm. I came out of an angle. All right. Okay, I know I still have to put my dishes away over here. But anyway, I, I had to take a break because I felt my uh, sugar was bottoming out. So I had to go sit down and eat some honey. <laughs> I'm not much of a breakfast person. So, you know, sometimes my sugar will drop. If, uh, and it's hard for me to eat in the morning because it's just like, I don't know, I get this nauseous feeling. Yeah. But anyway, here we go. Uh, so we have our strawberries, more strawberries. Husband went and got. I washed them. I put them in a bowl. These are the ones from earlier. That's gonna be for topping the pie. I I was thinking about it. Maybe I'll make a topping a top crust for the pie. Maybe not. I I'll see how I feel. How how much energy I have left after this. Okay, so the lemon zest. You're going to want lemon zest. Now, you can skip this part if you don't want, if you don't like lemon. Or if, because this is going to be like a, a strawberry lemony kind of pie. I like the kick that it adds to the strawberry flavor. So I'm definitely going to do that. So what I'm going to do, let me put that to side. So I'm going to zest some lemon. Let me, I don't remember if I, going through that episode where my sugar dropped, I don't remember if I actually washed the lemon. Isn't that sad? I can't remember. Ugh, that's what happens when your sugar drops. It's like, it's like, you know, like you have to reboot your system, you know, your central processing unit. Everything has to be rebooted, and uh, sometimes you lose some info. All right, so anyway, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and wash the lemon again, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm usually good at, when I peel that little sticker off, I'm usually good at washing it. And I see the little sticker in the sink, so I don't know. Here's the sticker for the lemon. Right there, there's a mistake. So, I must have washed the lemon, I just don't remember. So, 2D. The air the side. Caution. Okay. Alright, so, there you go. Make sure you can see this. Sometimes, like, I get away, I get so involved in the recipe, I forget to check to make sure you guys got a good view of what I'm doing. I apologize for that. But anyway, it happens, right? That's why it's important to talk through what you're doing, just in case you don't have the camera on yourself. Okay. So we're zesting our lemon. 
And again, to this, once I'm done zesting, I'm going to slice these up and juice them. And then I'm going to add some water to them. And in that, I'm going to add three tablespoons cornstarch. Mix it up really, really well. Then I'm going to go back to the pot of strawberries. Pour this in there. But I want to reduce the strawberry first. Because strawberries, when you boil them, strawberries have a lot of water in them. You know, they're a good hydrator to your system. And um, so we don't want all that water in the pie. So we have to reduce and let, let that evaporate some. And you don't want to put it on high when you're doing that because you can burn your, your, you know, all that sugar, you can burn it. But you do want it on a low steady simmering heat until it thickens up for you. And then once most of that strawberry liquid and water is evaporated, then you can add this lemon juice mixture with the bacon, with the bacon, with the cornstarch in you know? So this is about, still got some. about good right here and all right all right so we're done with that and this is what I got out of it so now we're going to slice the lemon up. Into quarters because I've got to juice them. And again, this calls for about half a cup. and then a half a cup of water and that's all going in here and then we'll do the three tablespoons of cornstarch now you can blend the cornstarch with the half a cup of water or just in addition to the small lemon. It's good to clean your sink with. Okay, in your hands and everything else. And that gave me just about half a cup. I think that's enough. So, well, I'm sorry, not half a cup, a quarter cup. So what I'm going to do 
for a half a cup of cold water. And then the other half, I am going to use it to mix. So here's a tablespoon of cornstarch. Three tablespoons. Okay, so I need that to stir my apples over here. Let me get a fork. So nice milky substance, milky looking. Now you always want to do that with cold water so it doesn't clump on you. Actually the colder the better. Okay, now we're going to pour that in with the lemon juice and lemon zest. to do is we've got to get these strawberries. I'm going to switch them out. Uh, sliced up and in. They've already been rinsed. In. I'm a quarter of these or half these rather. I'm not quartering them. I'm halfing these and then I'll bring you back and we'll go ahead and continue. Okay you as you can see I went ahead and half those strawberries every single one of them okay and if this is too much for my pie that's okay leftover breakfast topping for french toast doesn't matter okay so now what i'm gonna do is hello <laughs> i'm gonna turn you around to the stove 
I have my lemon juice with the uh, uh, cornstarch and stuff right here. I just want to show you. What I've got going on on the stove. Here's the uh, the strawberries. I've got it on a number two, and it's simmering and evaporating all that liquid. I've got rid of a lot of the water. <sighs> See if I can show you a little better. This stand is not the best, so I apologize. Always wants to cave on me. The tripod. All right, that's about as good as I can get it. There we go. Okay, so this is about. Uh, as thick as I need it to be because I'm going to add some more fluid. So let's go ahead and get this a mixture. Oh, and two hour lemon and cornstarch mix. I went ahead and added just a little bit of orange uh, extract. Just a little drop. Just the contrast is awesome. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pour that in there. And we're going to give that a good mix. And then we're going to cook this, simmer this, and uh, it's going to start to get thick. Put this on a low. First it whitens up and then it'll get dark again. Just keep stirring and cooking. This will thicken up the filling. And bring all the strawberries together. It'll gel it up. You keep stirring until you get that dark red again, or bright red. You don't want this cloudy from the cornstarch. You want to make sure it gets cooked in there. Okay. And it's starting to turn red again. And you just keep simmering and let that evaporate some. All right, so we got that going. Now, I still have my oven on 425, so it's nice and hot and ready. So I'm going to go ahead and roll out my pie crust and, and blind bake it, and I'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Okay, I went ahead. Sorry, I had some company come in. And uh, I went ahead and mixed the filling with the uh, the rest of the strawberries. Again, I realized this may be a whole lot. Here's a piece of green leaf. I realized this may be a whole lot for that one pie um, shell, but that's fine because the rest we can use for toppings for French toast tomorrow. I think I'll make my... Uh, French turkey stuffed, uh, turkey bacon stuffed French toast tomorrow, uh, since we got company with some eggs and sausage, turkey sausage, and I'll use this as the topping, whatever, if there's anything left over, which I'm sure there will be, that's a whole lot, uh, filling, and it's homemade, it's fresh, you know, none of that junk or preservatives, so that's even better. Right now I've got about a minute to go on my pie crust. I'm hoping that it doesn't, the center doesn't collapse. We shall see. 
sometimes that happens only because I don't have enough uh, pie baked beads and I don't have I ran out of beans I've got to order some beans I got, I got to put that on the grocery list for next week because you can use uh, dry beans to weigh down your pie while you're baking your crust but anyway, so we got about 14 seconds. We'll see how this comes out, how this turns out. We get my. Correct, there it is. Turn that off. And then. Uh, get this pie show out. I try to collapse a little bit. Not too bad. See right here? I didn't have en enough uh, aluminum foil. Right here. It'll do that. I gotta get more beads. Alright, let that cool off for a minute. So that it can hold its shape. And then we'll go ahead and remove that and bake the rest. And then we'll put the filling in and bake the actual pie. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and make uh, the whipped cream topping. So I'll be back. Okay, so I got the. Um, Whip topping, I'm going to put this in the fridge so it doesn't uh, melt on me. <laughs> and then I'll be back and we'll put, the pie should be cool enough now, and we'll put that in the oven. Okay, so now I've tented my pie. So I'm going to put this in the oven to cook the inside. Before I do, though... Take your silicone brush and just brush away. you've egg washed your pie, you can go ahead and put it in the oven. I'm going to do about 10 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we've got about four minutes left. I wanted to show you the Vanilla beans uh, in vodka. You gotta shake it every day. See how it's starting to tint 
the water. It takes six months to get some good extract. Okay, this is my daily shake. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, timer is off. Let's take a look at our pie. I'm praying it hasn't collapsed. Let me lower the TV. This earth that is not totally complete. And then you find in the 26th verse, God says, let us make man in our end. Sometimes Ani gets lost in scripture. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's nice and golden. So now we're going to remove the tent. And put it in. At, I'm going to lower the heat to 375. And put it in for five minutes. Okay, it's at 375, and I've got the time of five minutes that it all get that it get all toasty. Oh, you know what I wanted to do though? Let me I'm gonna brush some egg yolk or egg wash rather all around the rest so it can turn nice and golden brown too. How about that? Yep. Okay. I gotta get some more pie weights so that my uh to prevent that collapsing from the sides. But that you know that happens. All the butter in there, in the dough. So, there we go. I did the egg wash. We got about four minutes, a little less than, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we our timer went off. So let's take a look at our pie crust. Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. There she is. Again, we did collapse in a couple of places. Oh, well. It happens. It happens. You know, but for the majority, once I get the extra pie plate, I mean, pie beads and weight, yeah, it, would, it won't happen. So we want to let that cool off before we put in our filling, which as you can see, is nice and bright red and um, thick with hunks of strawberry, fresh strawberries in there. Oh yeah, that's all fresh strawberries and sugar, of course. Uh, so we'll go ahead and let that cool down. And once that happens, we'll come back and we'll fill it up. Now, once we fill it, this will have to refrigerate it for about, oh, three to four hours. So that when you cut into it, it's a nice uniform cut and it's, you know, it's standing up and firm. It's not falling all over the place. So that's why you have to wait for it to set in the refrigerator. So this won't be ready to cut into for uh, till about dinner time. But I will snap a picture of it and post it. So I'll wait till all that gets done before I upload this video. That way you all can see it, you know, in one fell swoop. Okay, for us it might be quite a few hours, but for you it'll be... Maybe just uh, a few minutes. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm gonna let that cool off and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, this is pretty much cooled down. This is our pie shell. See? Not bad. Just collapsed a few pla a couple of places, not a few. I think just right there is just where it collapsed. Again, get yourself some nice uh beads. Uh, baker beads and that would take care of your problem and make sure you tent it well all right so now we're ready for our filling This is a lot of filling. I think Hubster's home, Hubster and our company's home. Isn't that yummy looking? few spots I want to fill with strawberry that kind of look shy a big chunks of strawberry in there how does that look oh my now that's a strawberry pie <laughs> All right, so I'm going to refrigerate that, and maybe I'll add a couple more big chunks of strawberries, but I'm going to refrigerate this, and at dinner time, or when it gets set after a few hours, I'll go ahead and put the whip topping on it. For presentation and slice it up take a pic so you all can see the finished product okay next up I'm going to do my beef stew recipe we're gonna have some white rice uh, with beef stew and I'm also going to do, um, no, white, white rice beef stew. What else did I say I was going to do? I have the salad already made. I've got bread. Mini, we're going to do some uh, bruschetta. <sighs> There's something else. Do I have any beans? Is that, is that what it was? White rice beans and beef stew? Oh. salad and some um, bruschetta bread um, the bruschetta bread I think I'm going to do it with of course some EVOO um, basil and um, tomatoes little chopped diced tomatoes and some Parmesan Romano sprinkled on top in the meantime I'm putting this puppy in the refrigerator the guest of honor right here the main event of this video I'm gonna put that in the 
refrigerator so it can set. All right? Okay, so I'll be back.